All right, hello everyone. My name is Reese. I'm a an aspiring day trader, and I trade ICT concepts. Um, what we are about to do is we're about to drill our ICT concepts into uh, today's trading session on the Micro Nasdaq. I trade the Micro Nasdaq. So before we get into the actual trading session, let me first get without. Get some uh, disclosures out. I'm sorry, I can't talk straight. Um, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. The following demonstration is for entertainment purposes only, and this is not a solicitation in the purchase, transfer, or sale of any securities or derivatives products. Trading involves substantial risk, including more capital than you invest. Okay, so going into that, we are loaded up on our uh, trading view paper trading I put 5,000 fake dollars into the account and basically we're gonna day trade re day trade today's session um, I did trade it on my live account uh, today but um, we're going to practice our ICT concepts and we're gonna do it bar by bar and see how we flow in the price so we're starting we are in Eastern Standard Time and here we go so we're coming in uh, we're on the one minute chart and we're consolidating I think we're uh, for today's review let's do like a three minute chart so we're not I'm not sitting here forever consolidating no signal no signal okay it's talking out loud we are do we want to break sell side we broke so we broke internal range liquidity here let's see if it wants to reject that it does we're back in the range we're coming to Internal range liquidity. Okay, we we hit our internal range liquidity, and it looks like it probably wants to bounce that. Not confident in a buy there yet. Okay, now we broke out into our external range liquidity, and it wants to buy that. We're in our fair value gap on Tuesday, May 16th, and we're about at the consequent encroachment, which is that midpoint right here. And so, looks like we're bouncing that. So I'm going to buy this. And this is all fake, folks. Obviously, this is all fake. This is just for my training purposes. Okay, so moving forward, bar by bar, looks like we're wrong on the trade. Uh, we're offside a little bit. I don't want to use the term wrong. Wrong is a little bit like morally charged. It's not about being right or wrong. You're either onside or you're offside. Your ID is either going to work or it's not, and that's it. So we're just trying to scout, folks. We're just trying to make a few points, and that's all we're trying to do. Okay, so we maybe got in a little bit early, but we're looking at the mean threshold of this order block down here and we're thinking price probably wants to bounce that does price want to bounce that yes we do get a bounce can we get a further bounce are we going to go up to internal range liquidity up at our 21 halves 21 50s and our 23 50s up at external looks like it wants to bounce we're going to hold on to this trade no okay we're going to take a loss so we could have gotten on that trade. Um, I got I held on to it a little bit too long, but we uh, we lost three and uh, three three quarters fake points. Okay, we're trading further down into sell side liquidity. We got a bounce. Looks like we're trying to bounce that sell side liquidity down here. Turtle soup that. So this could be coming down into the mean threshold of this three minute candle we're thinking about longing at this point nope breaking there we go okay there's our bounce we're looking for we're bar by bar here we're gonna purchase and we're looking for our internal range liquidity we're looking for 14 quarters can we get 14 quarters we're bouncing does not want to bounce wants to keep dropping so we are gonna take another loss now we're down 24 fake dollars so we did get a little bit of a bounce there, and if I were scalping this live, probably would have come out with a profit there, but I'm just trying to see if my understanding of price and everything is correct. So that's fine. We missed on that one. We're coming down. We're again trying to bounce. So liquidity is here, and you can see we're trying to bounce it again, so we're going to try and buy again. Let's see if we get a bounce. Okay, there's bounce. And it's coming back down to the mean threshold of this order block and it looks like it wants to bounce no we're gonna trade through trading all the way down okay lost again they're off to three losers so we're still looking for a bounce 
any one of those, if I were trading it live, I probably would have gotten out with a profit or wash traded it. Um, but anyways, I was thinking that you know we were going to bounce some of these order blocks down here in this internal range liquidity, but we did not. So now let's see if we bounce coming into this internal range liquidity. And here's our external range liquidity down here, and we're looking at below... 76 three quarters, 76 three quarters. So let's see if we get down to external range liquidity. We do, okay, break out into external. At this point, I'm thinking bounce. Yes, okay, we're gonna get long again. Thinking bounce. We broke into this external range liquidity, so that should provide us plenty of stops to move us forward. Let's see if we can, I'm targeting now, what am I targeting? So the target what am I looking for I'm anticipating at least internal range liquidity here and I'm thinking maybe internal range liquidity up at 509.25 got plenty of plenty of highs here on the way up that price might want to target I'm delineating that with the blue line so we're gonna have stops all the way up and let's see if we wanna crack any of that Okay, we have a, this looks like a good bounce here. Next candle, yep, okay, we're bouncing off the mean threshold of this new order block. Came up in the internal range liquidity up at 506.50s. And let's see if price wants to go further, if we're gonna close out. Okay, price is moving further. And now we're still up and, and we're grabbing more liquidity on the way up, so we're thinking we topped out here at 510, 73 quarters. We're coming up on our next high. And at this point, I'm thinking probably, I'm probably gonna close this out. So now we're gonna be even on the day. So we're down 50 fake cents. Let's go to our next bar. We did reach up, okay, we're all the way up here above this high, so we're above at 14 evens. Now I'm kind of thinking we might reject to the sell side. Okay, there's our rejection to the sell side. Let's go next candle. And what do we do here with this candle? Looks like it's trying to reject off of the mean threshold of this rejection block. We did make a new high at 14 evens. No, we paired it. We paired the high at 14 evens. So I'm thinking short is what I'm thinking. Thinking short down to this order block. Let's take a gamble. Let's do it. Let's get short and we're aiming for 99 evens. Candle, next candle. Okay, we're down. Next candle, it's trying to bounce. It's trying to bounce. What is it trying to bounce? It's trying to bounce the top of this range. No, nope, we're going to trade through that. Uh, I think he would call that a breaker block. I believe that is what he would call a breaker block. But that is definitely a level there. I just don't know exactly what kind of block ICT calls it. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking at this, the mean threshold of this order block here. I'm looking for 99 evens. Let's see if we can get that. 99 evens. That's what I'm aiming for. The top of the order block. I'm really aiming for the, the mean threshold of that order block. And at this point, it's trying to bounce it. So I'm going to take my $11 profit. So we're in profit on the fake session. And let's see if it wants to continue um, bouncing that order block. We do. OK. Coming down, we're trading through the order block. See how it wants to react at the order block. Looks like it wants to bounce the order block. So I'm thinking long. Let's get long. Let's go candle by candle. Next candle. I'm not going to exit this position just yet. OK, next candle, we get a bounce. Can we get a further bounce? Yes. So you see we traded down right back up. And so now that we bounced off this order block, there's kind of two order blocks in here, but I'm looking at the 50% of the main thresholds of these order blocks. We're just trading what uh, professionals would call micro market structure. We are trading micro market structure. Uh, I, I call it trading ICT. I trade ICT concepts. So we came down through the mean threshold of this top order block, and then we came down to the mean threshold of the center order block here. You can see that on this pink candle, the first one to the left sort of the bottom quarter of that. We break out our order blocks into quadrants. The bottom quarter of that, we bounce that. So that's why I got long, that was my signal. 
and now I'm thinking higher. Now I'm thinking higher prices like 90, uh, what is that? 09, 0950s. I'm aiming for 0950s internal range liquidity. Now I'm not liking the trade so much. I might. Okay. At this point, I'm not liking the trade as much. I'm going to get out. See what price does. Coming down. Oh, still trying to bounce that order block. Bang. Okay. Yeah, so I got out prematurely there. I uh, got a little bit scared. We ended up. What did we do here? We came up and we rejected this breaker block. This would be a breaker block right here. We rejected this breaker block and then we came right back down to the same order block. We bounced it again off the consequent encroachment basically of this candle right here. So now I'm definitely thinking higher prices. Now I'm long. Now I'm thinking, you know, 1550s, at least 905 three quarters. Yep. Okay. Let's see if we can continue to get that bounce. We're in the internal range liquidity and we sort of just rejected it, which I don't like so much. So we're going to get out here. Dollar fifty profit. Okay, coming down to the mean, sir, excuse me, the consequent encroachment of this fair value gap. So that fifty, we're coming down to the 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 CE of this fair value gap, which I'll just put that out on the chart. That would be here, and that would be at around oh the the o three fifties, o three fifties, and we're going to try and see if we bounce that order bounce that fair value gap. Now we're going to trade through the fair value gap. Let's see if we go lower. Okay, now we're down at this uh, call that what is that? I'm order block down here, kind of at the consequent encroachment. We're bouncing. Sorry, the mean threshold of this order block. We're bouncing, so I'm long. And let's trade forward. Are we going to bounce that? Does want to bounce it? No. Okay, we are offside. We're going to take a loss. Trading down, we have market structure here. This would be, I think, the market structure shift. It's a level there. Top of this order block. Let's see if we trade down to that order block. Got to the top of it, and we bounce the top of this order block here. And I kind of missed the trade. There was definitely a trade here. I missed it. So let's see if we want to. I'm thinking long here. I'm thinking long. Gonna get long. See if I'm on side. And we are on side. So now we trade up into external range liquidity. And you can see that we ran all the stops up here, ran the liquidity up here, and now it's thinking about rejecting. So we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna get flat. It's thinking about rejecting. It is rejecting. And at this point, I'm thinking about getting short. I don't like that there's this long wick that I'm thinking it's probably want to come come up and retest that. No, it does not. Okay, we missed a short there. We missed a short there. That was a few points. Okay, see if we get another short entry. We're coming up. I don't like it here. Next candle. Now I like it a lot more. So now I'm thinking that we rejected the consequent encroachment of this wick at we rejected that 18 18 quarters three quarters 18 three quarters we rejected and now I'm thinking you know at least get a few points on the scalp so now I'm gonna get short okay there's a few points on that candle a few points on this candle we're going candle by candle let's see if we break okay we break internal range liquidity and we bounce it and so at this point I don't I don't like it so much we didn't trade through it with conviction did not trade through this low at 08 evens. I traded to the consequent encroachment of this uh, range candle, this bigger candle right here. So the midpoint of that candle, we bounced it. So we're just going to take our, we're going to take our three points and go home. Okay, now I'm thinking higher prices. Why am I thinking higher prices? Because we bounced below this range. So now I'm going to be long. Might have been premature. Yes, okay. I was offside on that, but I don't know if I want to um, if I want to cover this out.
we're coming into market open. It's going to be at 9.30, so we're getting close to market open. And it wants to bounce. There's a fair value gap here, and it's bouncing it. So I'm going to stay in this trade. Oh, I should have gotten out of this trade. Okay. At this point, we come down. We're in a losing trade. We're all the way down here at this level down here, and we're looking at the halfway point. So at this point, I'm thinking about adding on a contract, scaling into a contract here. So I'm going to scale into another long. And now if we're offside, let's see. OK, so what happened there? So basically, we got long way too early. I mean, we were, we were expecting a bounce at like the 12 and 3 quarters, and it, then it came all the way down. We, we missed a short trade for sure. Like we were short, and we missed that. So what am I thinking here? So let me remove the executions for a second. It doesn't want to go off. No? Okay. Doesn't want to leave. So basically the midpoint of this long candle here, that would be what ICT would call as a gap. And so what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for the midpoint of that. We're looking for right, right there. We're we're looking for we were looking for 94 evens. It came down and our low was at 94 halves, so we were two ticks off, and we got long at 96 evens. So it did bounce this candle here, and that would be a so it would be the consequent encroachment because this is going to be a, uh, an inefficiency or a, a gap, basically. The, the, this long, long wicks are seen by the algorithm as gaps. So now we're long. Okay, now we're long. We scaled into a long, which is okay. We can do that. And now we're thinking higher prices. Now we're thinking we want to take out probably internal range liquidity at 17 and 3 quarters. We're, you know, we're not so opposed to like 22 halves external range. Okay. Bang. All right. Bang, bang, bang. There we go. We have a good profit now. Now we're up a decent number of points. So now we're sitting at 12 points. So we made 12 points. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Let's see. Next candle. Is this greed? Yeah, it looks. it's looking like greed. So we're going to close that out and made, made a few points on that trade. So that's a good scalp right there. Coming lower. Ooh order block formed here. I don't know, maybe we got out of that trade a little bit prematurely. Um, basically, you know, we traded up into this liquidity right here, and I was thinking maybe, okay, maybe this wants to fake breakout, maybe this wants to turtle soup. It did not. Now we're trading through. Okay, coming back lower. Are we thinking short? I don't, I don't think it's a great signal. I don't think it's a great setup to get short here, honestly. I'm seeing no signal. No signal. Coming down to an order block. So we want to reject the order block? Yes. So this little thing right here, this little kind of spindle, sp spindy top looking candle, that's not really an order block. But looking at the 50% range, I mean, look at that. Bang. Okay. We bounced this order block right here. Now we're thinking higher prices, so we're going to get along. Bang. Okay, now what are we up? We're up at, we got long at 17s, and now we're up at 25 evens. We're in external range liquidity. What is external range liquidity? External range liquidity is basically liquidity outside of the current swing. So, we take this price swing from right here to right here. So we we basically, if, what are we doing here? If we take this line to this line, and let's just thicken that boy up a little bit. This is a leg, right? This is a leg from our lows of 94 halves up to our high of uh, 522 three quarters. That is a single leg. And so any low that's within this leg is going to be internal range liquidity because it's within the same leg. When we take this leg, okay, and we make it up to 515s, basically when the current leg gets above that leg, there are buy orders. There's going to be a lot of um, 
buy side liquidity up there in the form of protective sell stops, uh, pr- pr- stops for shorts. Basically, if you were short from 515, you put your stop up here and those are getting ran now. So now we see a slide, right? That's what happens when a lot of stop orders get triggered. They go into the market at once, like bang, bang, you know, bang. It's a slide. That's what it is. It's a slide. It's just bang. It slides 10 points in two seconds. And by two seconds, I mean about a half second. So that's what's going on here is a bunch of stops are being triggered. And so now we're thinking, okay, long is looking pretty good and we're thinking about covering it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So look at this. So this is a three-minute replay. This, all of this, what you're seeing up here, this wick, that's not like buys and sells and supply and demand in the way you think it is. It's That's not what's happening there. These are basically just stop orders getting demolished, and then high-frequency trading algorithms uh, will come in and, and fill some of that back basically immediately, right? So that's what's happening there. That is what's happening. Is it's basically uh, what we used to call in crypto trading a lick slide or liquidation slide, but it's um, an area of illiquidity where you essentially just have like a bunch of stop orders. They all get triggered at once, and so price slips or it slides. So we call that a a lick. I call it a lick slide from crypto days, but it's a slide. So we're covering that. Okay, covering our long, we got a nice profit on the day. Good thing we covered our long, we're coming into the open. Oh, we missed a short. We missed a decent size short, but now we're thinking long. Why are we thinking long? Well, price is bouncing the midpoint of this order block right here. So you see these two down candles right here, that's a order block. The middle point of that is our mean threshold of the order block and we're bouncing it, so we're getting long. Okay, we're long. Ooh, okay, we messed up with that long. We were offside, we're offside pretty badly. And so now we're coming into, what are our options here? I mean, this 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 is pretty tough. All right, we're in a bad loser. We need to mitigate it. We're down at this order block, mean threshold. Our low got all the way down to internal range liquidity. We're near external range liquidity. So we're gonna add a contract. We're gonna add a contract. Now we're in a big loser. Now we're in a big loser. We're in external range liquidity. We're also, what is this over here? This is going to be a level over here. Okay, let's see if we want to start bouncing. We might need to get long a third contract. Holy moly. Um, At this point, we're in a big loser. We haven't closed it out. It happened quickly. We were talking about in real time, this would have happened about nine minutes. And so this is why it's good to be trading small contracts because we can mitigate this. So now we're down at this rejection block. We traded all the way down. What was our low here? Our low was 75 evens. Our low over here was 74 evens. So let's take a step back. What happened here? Basically, the market destroyed the buy side liquidity, and then it just turned around no mercy just just absolutely no mercy rip the sell side liquidity too so all the fuckers who were long all those fuckers got wrecked and then everybody who was so basically everybody who got short was wrecked and then all the fuckers that got long also wrecked and so that's just how the market works on an intraday basis you know it's it sometimes it's going to do it's going to wreck both sides so we just took out sell side liquidity we're going to get long a third contract and let's see if we want to start bouncing yeah, we're now, we're now we're bouncing. Now we're bouncing. Okay, we're in profit. We're coming up to... I mean, so this this whole thing that happened here, you can't fucking tell me that's supply and demand. That's not supply and demand. That's not, that's not Wyckoff. I don't care. You can tell me all day long that that's not manipulation. That is algorithmic manipulation of some kind. I'm not a programmer. I'm not a quantitative finance guy. This is predatory. This is fuck everyone. We're knocking you. We're knocking both sides out. So they come up. Everybody that was everybody that was short. We're gonna knock them out. Okay. We're just fucking destroying the shorts. We're gonna turn around and we're gonna destroy the longs too. That that is done intentionally by whom? Trading algorithms. By by whose trading algorithms? I don't know. 
but it's happening. You can see it. It's a war zone out there. Okay, so we take out both sides in a span of 15 minutes. And now we're thinking about closing out our long. No, we're not going to close it out just yet. So why am I thinking about closing out our long? Because I wanted to see how price reacted to this level right there. And it looks like we're going to hold it. So we're going to hold on to our long. And let's see here at this point. All right. We're three contracts. We probably want to start trimming soon. I mean, nothing really to suggest that are we are we going to head all the way back up to to buy side up here. I mean, that's pretty crazy. I'm you know I'm not buying it. We've got um, we've got basically a rejection block right here where my cursor is right here, and we're looking at the halfway point of that, the 50 percent. And I want to see if if we get some rejection up here. It's not looking great. I'm not liking our long here. Yeah, this is greed. We should be closing this out. Okay, we're flat. But yeah, I mean, you can't. You can sit here and tell me about your auction market theory and your supply and demand and all your bullshit. And you can't, you know, you can tell me that all day long. And I'm not going to believe it anymore. I see what I see on the chart. I'm out grinding everyone. I'm I'm completely addicted to this market. Um, I'm on a micro. I'm going to be, you know, a machine at the micro Nasdaq basically. And I'm on the micro market structure. I'm seeing it minute by minute, all day, every day. This, up at the top, and then this down at the bottom. That is fuck you. I mean, that's what that is. That is we're knocking everybody out. We're taking out liquidity so that we can uh, take price where we want to go, basically. I mean, that, that's what that is right there. This is not driven by some fundamental factor. You can't tell me that is. That's just fuck you and fuck you. And that's, you know, that is what it is. It's, um, I believe that the market is a pricing engine that is, that's designed to, to devour liquidity, basically. And, and I think that's what the market just did there. Okay, we're moving forward. And... Okay, now we're thinking, all right, are we going to bounce this order block? We bounce the order block. Yes, we do. Okay, we're getting along. We're getting along. We're bou we bounce that order block. Bang. Okay, nice bounce on that order block. We are well in profit now. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. That was a bad three minutes. Okay, so um, at this point, you know, I don't think we want to cover our long just yet. I'm going to stay long. Oh, shouldn't have stayed long. This is greed. This is greed. This is definitely greed. I'm going to get out. I'm going to get flat. I'm going to get flat. And we'll see the next candle. Let's see if we get another signal. Maybe we might go short at the top. No signal. No signal. I'm not seeing anything that I like here coming down to an order block. We bounce that order block. We bounce the order block. I'm a little bit late on this, but we're going to get long. Okay. That's a good scalp right there. That's 13 points. We're going to cover that. Scalp City. Welcome to Scalp City. Okay. Now we're trending higher. We're trending higher. I'm not seeing any entry signals at this point to get long again. Coming down to We bounce an order block. So... This little fucker right here, that tiny little fucker right there, that I'm going to say is an order block. And it's the tiniest, tiniest of order block. And this is, you know, the benefit of hindsight here. This is simulated trading, folks, obviously. So we're going to get long. I, would I actually get long this live? Maybe, maybe after training and drilling the way I am, I would. But, it, you know, it is what it is. Okay, we're long. And we're pumping. We're pumping. Okay, we're coming back down. And what are we bouncing there? I mean, we're bouncing things that are not even, you know, this is the thing about an impulse move like this and about the price action that came out today. I mean, look at that. We're not bouncing. I don't see anything. We basically just bounced. We bounced the absolute top of this order block. The absolute top. I mean, look at that. So really, the order block, in my mind, is not even including the green candle. I would say that just the... Like basically just the one minute three pink candles here are the order block. 
but you know that price is like on a tear. I mean, it's ripping. It's just it's ripping faces. It's ripping faces when you're at the top of the very green candle here and it's bouncing that immediately. I mean, that's a strong move, and that that's really what I need to drill myself to see. So you're looking, you're expecting bounces, and you're expecting rejections on the sell side, and you're you're seeing relatively like, are we going? How like are we bouncing off the top of the the top of the block, the quarter of the block, midpoint of the block, bottom third of the block, below the block? Where are we bouncing? We bounce the absolute top. We bounce the absolute top. We're still long, still long. Seeing a little bit of rollover. Uh, you know, I'm getting nervous with my short now, but I'm not exiting. Three. Okay, at this point, I'm covering this because we're seeing a little bit of rollover. Okay. Unbelievable price action today, by the way. Um, this is an aggressive short. I don't like it, though. Okay? See nothing? No, no entry signal. No entry signal. Nothing. At this point, it's given us nothing. Could have still been long. You know, whatever. This is scalp city here. That's what we're trying to do professionally. We're trying to scalp professionally. We're not trying to pull out the whole, the whole fucking one percent move on the Nasdaq. I mean, that doesn't happen very often. So, we're, we're trying to scalp. Okay, we're at the order block. We're at the midpoint. The, the consequent encroachment of this candle right here. So I'm going to call that an order block. It's not really an order block, but I'm looking at that. I'm seeing. Okay, we're we bouncing that. Are we bouncing? Yes. Okay. Long. Oh, maybe we're offside. No, we're not offside. We're not going to get short just yet. We're not going to cover this. Okay. Oh, it's looking like we're offside. It, we're consolidating. We're flattening out. Take a look at that. Are we going to bounce this rejection block right here, midpoint of that rejection block? No, or we're not. Okay, we're offside. We're getting, we're going to flat. We're going to flatten. No signal. No signal. Coming down into an order block. We bounce it. We're long. Long on that order block bounce. We could have made a scalp on that. So we missed a scalp there. Held on to this trade too long. And are we offside again? Are we offside? We don't know that we're offside yet. Now we know that we're offside. We're going to take a loss. We're moving on. We're waiting for a signal. Okay. Let's look for a rejection. Rejection. Nope. No signal. No signal. Waiting for a signal. Got an order block we might want to bounce. Yep. That's an order block we're going to purchase. We're long. Are we on site? Okay, we're up a few points. We're up a few points. And we're going to wash trade this at this point. So that was a little bit of greed there. Don't see anything. All right, let's see if we bounce. We're looking to go long. At this point, we're always looking to go long. Coming down to the order block right here. Are we bouncing? Does it want to bounce? Coming down, it's looking like a bounce. Yep, that's a bounce. We're long. And we could have made a few points on that, a few ticks. We missed it. Now we're offside. Loss. But now we're coming down to the lower portion of this order block and coming down to this fair value gap right here, and we're bouncing it. So we're long again. Long. Are we offside? We're offside. We're going to close for a loss. Nope. We're onside. We're, we're up a few ticks. Bang. Okay. Made a few ticks, and now... We have a fair value gap here, and then we have um, liquidity up here. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. We traded through that fair value gap. Next candle, next three-minute candle. No sign of weakening yet. No sign of weakening yet. Nope, we're going. Are we going to target uh, this liquidity up here? It's looking like it. we got internal range liquidity here. Now, let's see if we get external. Oh, okay, now we're going to close this out. Okay, no signal, no signal. 
looking for a bounce, looking for a bounce. We've got a order block down here, rejection block. We're looking for a bounce. We are looking for a bounce, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get a bounce? All a man wants in this life is a bounce. So, what do we bounce off of here? Looks like this order block right there. We're going to look for 650s. 650s. Sorry, we're getting long. We're getting long. We're looking for 650s. That's all we want. All we want is in this life is 650s. No? It's not going to give it to us. We're going to have to wash trade this. Okay, well, I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out. We made four points. That's fine. Happy with that. Okay. And I believe that we are nearing the end of the trading session, so that is going to be it, folks. I'm not going to take any more trades. So let's play this out to current current price. Yeah, this is going to be our Asian session trading. Coming to current price. Let's see. Very flat, very efficient. Very efficient. No swings. Pop up into... What do we do here? Yeah, we popped up into this buy side liquidity. Let's see if it wants to turtle soup that. Yes, it does. That would have been a short. Okay, coming down into sell side. Are we gonna are we gonna bounce? Yeah, we're bouncing. Okay, Let's see if it wants more buy side. No. Oh, there's a bounce. Yeah, there's a bounce. Now we're thinking it wants more buy side. Does it want no? Still thinking it wants more buy side until. There it is. Yeah, yeah. I thought it wanted to do that. Okay. So we popped up into just like this barely, you can barely see it, internal buy side. Coming down into, coming down into some pretty good sell side here. Yeah, that was a good short. Okay. And coming to current price, coming to current price. What are we doing here? Or waffling? Coming down to sell side. No, nope, doesn't want to take sell side. We took sell side. We're bouncing. Thinking long. Thinking long. Long would have been profitable. Took sell side and bounced it, so we're thinking long. Coming up on current price. Took buy side again. Rejected, so now I'm thinking, okay, I'm going lower. Oh, wants more buy side. So what did it bounce here? So bounce something. Looks like it bounced this uh, fair value gap right here. Bounce that. Yeah, took buy side. Okay, that is it. That is the, um, what is this today? It is Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. My name is Reese. This was a scalp session on the micro NASDAQ. This was all simulated trading. Please be aware, none of this was real. It's all simulated. I am not a licensed uh, financial advisor, and this is not a solicitation to purchase securities. Goodbye.